Hello everyone. In this video, I have explained how to develop a chatbot app using MIT App Inventor integrated with ChatGPT. In this app, whatever questions asked, it connects with ChatGPT server and get the answers back from ChatGPT. Let's ask. Find the value of x in the equation 3x plus 3 is equals to 15. Now I will click on the send button. We can see the answer. Let's again ask how to be a good AI programmer. Now I will click on send button. We can see the answer. I have shared the link for this project in the description. Let's develop the app. First, open any browser. of your choice then search beta.openai.com now sign in in your open ai account after signing in into your open ai account click on your profile and click on view api keys i have already created one api key if you do not have created one api key then click on create new secret key here i am using the free trial of chat gpt once the free trial gets over you need to pay a subscription to continue using chat gpt now click on api reference tab then click on making requests now open a new tab in your browser now search for mit app inventor click on the first link Now click on create apps. Log in in your app inventor account. Now click on start a new project and name it as chatbot app. Now set the theme of screen one to device default. Set the title to chatbot. Next, set the primary color to green and the primary col color dark to green. Now set the align horizontal to center and vertical also to center. Now set the background color to blue. Next, drag and drop a label component to a screen. Then go to layout and drag and drop a vertical scroll scroll arrangement. Now drag and drop a horizontal arrangement. Next go to user interface and drag and drop a text box to the screen. Then drag and drop the but a button. Next click on label one and set the set the text of label one to questions and answers. will be displayed below now set the font size to 16.5 then set the text color to white then set font bold to true and set the text alignment to center now drag and drop the text box and the button to the horizontal arrangement Set the highlight horizontal to center and align vertical to center. The background color to none. Then click on vertical scroll arrangement and set the height to fill parent, width to fill parent and background color to none. Set align vertical to top and align horizontal to center. Now click on text box 1. Then set the hint of text box 1. to type your question here now set font bold of text box 1 to true background color to light gray now click on button 1 and set background color of button 1 to gray font bold to true and the font size to 16 now set the text to send text color to white next 
click on label components and rename it as hint then click on ok now click on text box one and click on rename rename it as enter question next click on ok click on button one and rename it as send button now click on ok now drag and drop a label component inside the vertical scroll arrangement then drag and drop one more label component outside the vertical arrangement set the color of label outside the vertical arrangement to none now click on label 1 and set the text color to white don't keep any text now set the font bold to true now set the font size to 20 text alignment to center now go to connectivity section and drag and drop the web component to the screen now rename label 1 as questions and answers now go to the block section Go to the variable section and drag and drop initialize group global name block. Rename the text to chat chat bot answer. Now drag and drop an empty string. Now go to the API reference tab and top copy the top code. Now open one more tab and search curl to app inventor blocks. Next, click on this link. Now paste the curl command. Next, download the blocks as as an image. Now open the location of the downloaded file and drag and drop the image to App Inventor. Now rename the procedure name as send question. Now click on the setting symbol and drag and drop one input. Now name it as question. Delete the zero point seven value. Now go to math and drag and drop one number. Set the value of the temperature to zero. Now set. Now go to list and drag and drop the make a list. Now remove one item. Now go to dictionaries. Click on make a dictionary. Set the key of first dictionary to. Role and the value to user and set the key of the second dictionary to content and and the value to get question. Make sure to. Replace your API key after the bearer. Now, drag and drop the when send button dot click block. Then, click on procedures. Now, we should call the send question procedure. The question is enter question dot text. Click on questions and answers. Now, drag and drop the set questions and answers dot text. To click on text and drag and drop the join. Now, drag and drop one more string. Now, set the first string to questions and answers dot text. 
the second string to slash n slash n space u and the third string to enter cosine dot text next drag and drop when wave one dot got text now click on variables and drag and drop the set global chat chat pot answer to click on list click drag and drop the drag and drop the look up in first key block the key will be the key is content now drag and drop one more one more look up in pairs block and and set the key to message now drag and drop the select list item list set set the index to 1 now drag and drop look up in pairs key now the key is choices now now click on web1 and drag and drop call web1 the json text decode the json text is get response content now click on questions and answers now drag and drop the set questions and answers the text to drag and drop the join from the text section now click on settings symbol and drag and drop one more string now set the first string to question and answers dot text the second string to slash n slash n space chat bot then the third string to get global chatbot answer our app is now ready if you like the video please subscribe my channel thank you